Welcome, civil class. Once you open up Web Soil Survey, whoops, I scrolled there, it uh, should look something like this. You'll want to click on the link down here after you've read through the introduction and procedure. And once you click on this link, uh, you can click to that, and it takes you to this page, which I've already preloaded. You'll want to click Start Web Soil Survey. We're going to do a soil survey of your house. So this is the page that comes up. You can put in your address. So I'm going to say that my house is um, whatever my address is. I'm just going to look for Lafayette, CO, Colorado. Put in your entire street address. I'm not going to put mine in because you don't need to know where I live. <laughs> All right, so we click View. Now it's searching. Still searching. And here we go. So at this point, we have kind of a large map. So if, if your house is already existent on here, that would be awesome. Then you click this button up here. It says AOI. It's got a rectangle. And we're going to find our area of interest. So um, I'm actually interested in the area around the school. Now this is the school right here, this little building. You don't want to make a teeny rectangle. Um, soil surveys are on sort of a large scale. So I'm going to encompass all around that to create my area of interest. It's going to give me some better data, a little bit easier to see what's going on. If you pick too small of an area, then you're not going to see soil that, that changes. It's just going to be one soil type, which is boring. So it's creating an area of interest. And here we go. So here is our current area of interest. Now at this point you need to click up on the Soil Data Explorer tab. And that's going to load. And then you can click on Intro to Soils. And that's going to load. And here is, if you click on the Intro to Soils button, Soils 101, um, these few links here are going to help you answer uh, the first few questions. What is soil? What are four classifications of minerals, particulates in soil? Make sure, whoopsie, we'll go back. Make sure you don't copy and paste because copying and pasting results in a zero. Yes, you got it. So let's go back to our soil map. Um, so we're going to, after you answer those questions, you'll click soil map. And this allows you to identify the different soil types. So we have these different soil types. Um, and these words probably don't mean a whole lot to you now because you haven't learned about them. You're going to um, actually figure out what these things mean. If you look at the map, you can faintly see ACB. That matches over here, Ascalon Sandy Loam. 1 to 3% slopes. So a very low slope. Um, and then up here in the corner of my area of interest, it changes a little bit. And then it goes back to ACB. Down in the bottom right corner, it changed a little bit also. But the majority of my so soil is this ACB. Uh, and you can see it's 89.4% of my area of interest. Uh, so we've identified that. So you're going to need to record all this down. And it, it explains that in the Google Doc. And then you're going to go to Soil Data Explorer tab, which is right here. And choose Soil Properties and Qualities. And what we're looking for here is the physical properties and then in your Google Doc it gives you a list of different things that you need to figure out for physical properties for your soil. So this should get you started and get you rolling.